situations. Perhaps it's time to send our respective guests home. Not a chance. Do you take me for a fucking fool? Be warned. If anything happens to Eric, I'll let every man jack here have his way with this bitch, and I'll dice Kobila into goulash meat. Nobly spoken, your grace. But for all I know, you may have done that already. Divish, I'm sorry. Greetings, friends. Fear not, Lord <laughs> Toth is treating us like royalty. <laughs> They're unharmed, as you can see. But don't try any tricks or they won't be for long, Hanush. It seems your lord doesn't place any great value in you, boy. Go to hell. Oh. <coughs> I'm sorry. It looks like it's not going to be that easy. Well, at least we know they're alive. I didn't expect much of it anyway. He won't harm them as long as we have this fellow. Hmm, it's like a stalemate. He won't harm them, but he won't let us, he won't, obviously, if we attack, he'll kill them. But then we could kill that guy. I don't know. Odd. I don't know what I would do in that situation. Well, friends, what do you suggest? I'd say we have no choice but to attack. Hmm. It's a great risk, Robard, with Stephanie and Radzig inside. I know how you feel, sir, but Toth is no fool. They are his last safeguard. He will do nothing to harm them. Until Casualties of war, victory. maybe. Would you be saying that if it were your wife inside? Or your father? Well, let me point out that we have no choice anyway. We don't have enough supplies to keep men here for weeks, while gangs of brigands and Sigismund's army roam the countryside. Hmm. Toth won't agree to an exchange, and even if he did, we'd have to let him go. With all his men, He'd be a thorn in our sides till Judgment Day. Sir, a message has arrived. Oh, what is it? Margrave Yobst is approaching with his retinue and wants to speak with you. Yobst, you say? All right. Mm. What is he doing here? Who's Yobst? Yobst of Luxembourg is cousin to King Wenceslaus and Sigismund. He's the Margrave of Moravia. Only a year ago, he was collaborating with Sigismund and the League of Lords. He betrayed King Wenceslas and his ally Prokop. Now he's changed sides, appointed himself the leader of the rebellion against Sigismund, and wants to liberate Wenceslas. Whichever way the wind blows. Nevertheless, it seems the decision is made for us. We don't want Yobst camping with us in front of our own castle like a band of gypsies. Hmm. I'm afraid you're right, Hanush. All right. We'll let the men rest a while, and then attack. Come to me when everything is ready. Okay. Just attack, yeah. We need to stop talking all the time. And just lay into them. Talk, talk to Divish. I'm so ready. What's he doing over here? Oh. What? What? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure I was just speaking to him. Classic. Can't jump over a river. Stop. Yeah. Um. Not 
out that way. Yeah. Yeah. He's up here. There he is. Uh, I'm at your service, sir. I'm about to give the order to bombard Talmberg. And since it's mainly thanks to you that we still have a trebuchet, I think you should have the honor of the Oh, trebuchet. nice. I'll be delighted. To smash my castle? <laughs> I can't say I share your enthusiasm. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I didn't mean it like that. There's nothing to it. The men will load the trebuchet. All you have to do is pull the lever. Well, I suppose I could manage that. Then we'll bombard Talmberg for several days. Sir Robard will explain what comes next. God be. I'm gonna miss everything. Fire the trebuchet. Wait, where is it? Is it that over there? Okay. Yeah. Does this mean that once we fired the trebuchet, we're gonna have to wait for like a week? Oh, it's put fire to the trebuchet. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Thanks, Shade. Get up. Get. There we go. Stupid horse. I hope we get to aim it. Although he said we're just pulling a lever though, so. Oh. Load the trebuchet. Is it that lever? Why is there two levers? It's not that lever. God, they take a while, don't they? I think it'll be this big iron one here. Although it could be either. I don't know. My good lord. Putting that log in there, are they? Oh no, these rocks. <laughs> It'd be so gutted if I pulled the thing now. Put the dog in. <laughs> <laughs> didn't they do that? Didn't they? In medieval times, didn't they put like dead meat and people's heads and stuff to freak out the enemy. They did. Uh. Huh. Oh, come on. Put your back into it. And cause plague. Ah, uh, yeah. Huh. We put it right through the net. Secure net, that. Ugh. What? 
What do I do? Oh. I thought I saw a thing there. Oh, use. Whoop. That was, um... Divish said... Sir Divish. Sir Divish. <coughs> Sir Divish said you tell me what happens next. I, We're going to watch Istvan shitting himself. That's all? For a few days at least. So if you have anything to attend to, now's the time. Just don't forget to come back. See you later. <coughs> Wait until the two-day bombardment is finished. May as well sleep for a day. Can't sleep more than six hours? I'm here. Can't you see we're still bombarding? You came too soon. <laughs> <laughs> you came too soon, you fool. Wait another day. I assume that cheering was just because they fired the trebuchet, not that they hit something. Go so slow. I suppose we'll have to attack. Since Sir Divish's colours still aren't flying over Tarnberg, I suppose we'll be attacking. Just so. That Istran's a stubborn bastard. All right. When do we start? There's no reason to wait. Are you really ready? If you need to rest or anything, we can still wait. You won't have another chance until we've won the day. Or until your final rest. I'm ready. Glad to hear it. We're going to attack on two fronts. The north gate and the west wall, which will scale with ladders. The attack will be split into different stages. Taking the outer walls, the inner bailey, and finally the core of the castle and the tower. Conquering the gate. How are we going to attack the gate? We'll try to do as much damage as we can with the trebuchet first. Kieser claims he can even hit it directly. Even if that's true, we'll have to charge through a downpour of enemy arrows all the way to the portcullis. Portcullis? Fortunately, it's wooden, so we'll be able to break it down. But dealing with the defense in the bailey won't be easy. Okay. And what's the plan for attacking the west wall? First, we have to get men to the wall with ladders. Which is no easy matter under fire, so we'll need as many men covering them as possible. As soon as the ladders are in place, our foot soldiers will run up and try to scale the wall. Once a few of them get to the battlements, we should quickly gain the upper hand. Okay. How will we take the battlements? Either by scaling the west wall, or our men at the gate will help. 
If they can break through, that is. And the inner bailey? That will be tough. Even if we get through the gate and into the outer bailey, we're still a long way from victory. The castle is designed so we'll be like hens in a coop to anyone with a bow on the inner battlements. We'll have to either fight our way through or somehow get around them. What about the living quarters? There, I'm worried most about the hostages. Once we're inside, Ishtvan will know defeat is inevitable, but we'll still have to fight for each and every room. I don't know if there's that many people. I think I've heard everything I need to know. Do you want to join the attack on the walls or on the gate? Remember, many of the Scalot's men will follow you. It could make a big difference. I'll help with the attack on the walls. <laughs> okay. I'm proud of you, Henry. You've changed from an insolent pup into a tough, reliable fighter. And as God is my witness, we will kick those whore sons' arses. A village lad and an old soldier. <laughs> this man must be shaking in his boots. <laughs> if he's not shaking, then he doesn't know what he's got coming. Just one last thing, though. No matter how good the plan is, something always gets fucked up. Keep your eyes open and take advantage of every chance. Help your comrades and don't go rushing in where you're outnumbered. We have to take the castle gradually, one position after another. I'll remember that. Good luck to you, stripling. Good luck to you, old soldier. Good luck then. Here we go. Finally. the gate yeah yeah I didn't do optional quests fair enough Up we go. This is probably a huge mistake. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Go help with the gate. Jeez. More levels of warfare. 